Jujitsu and Metro Manila to get BGC. Over there, but I had to move closer in so I don't get wet. It's really strong. I was waiting for this to happen, and it's finally here the downpour of today's rain in Manila. Although you may not believe it, today is actually the second day. That rainy sequence, which you saw at the beginning of this video was shot yesterday hence why there was no video upload but um today i've got to go and do a friend a favor they're currently not in town and go. hello ma'am can i get Ooh. what room number is it uh <laughs> thank you ma'am i'll take this now, before we go and pay our friend's Morocco bill, I just want to see how much his electricity bill came out to because mine was shockingly high at 8,000 pesos this month. I don't know why it was so high. And that's with inverter split type ACs. He's also received a disconnection notice saying uh, his power is actually going to be cut off if he doesn't pay it off soon. So hence why he's like, yo, man, please help me. Please, could you do me this favor? Not a problem at all. If I'm in town, I'll do it. Oh. Four thousand four hundred and thirty pesos. Is that it? I mean, I guess that's the convenience of having these sort of box type ACs rather than the split types. The split types seem to be always a lot more expensive, maybe double the price. And I think he runs his AC pretty much 24-7 if I'm not mistaken. His total monthly consumption on average per month um, in April and May was around about 300 350 kilowatt hours. Man, there's so many flies around here. As loud and as noisy and as ugly box type AC units are, you have to admit, they're really efficient. And you never have to worry about your Morocco bill being too high when you're using a box type AC. Why is there loud motorbikes everywhere? Listen, if I was the mayor of Tagig, any motorbike or vehicle that exceeds a certain decibel, I would incentivize the cops here to put a fine on them, give them a ticket, 2,000, 3,000 pesos, and let's see how many loud motorbikes roll around BGC. Um, I would make the exception for supercars, such as like Ferraris, Lambos, etc. But if you just got a bloody 125cc or 155cc and you're making a racket, ticket him. Hello, sir. How do you do? Now, the really other annoying thing about paying for your Morocco bill in Uptown Mall is that they only accept cash. So you've got to go to an ATM, withdraw the cash, and then go pay it. You can't pay by car. So we're going to have to queue up here to withdraw some money. Now, we're going to have to pay our Morocco bill in Marketplace on the basement floor of Uptown Mall. I say our Morocco bill. My friend's Morocco bill. Uh, 400 I mean, 4,000 for a 30, sorry. Okay? Basically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000. Yeah, sorry. Just... Honestly, having to queue up to pay your electricity bill or your internet bill is just so long. Don't do it. Just try and do everything online because it's a really big waste of time. Okay, 4, 5, 7, sorry. Thank you. Okay. All right, electricity bill is paid off. I now need to get myself a coffee because I haven't had one yet. Um, and I usually go to Starbucks, but some of you are giving me flack in the comments about, oh, Starbucks, this, Starbucks, that. So I guess in today's video, let's not get a Starbucks, let's go somewhere else. And uh, to do that, we're gonna have to jump on a mover scooter, to which there's none, to go get a coffee. Hello, how's it going? Good afternoon. Oh, you know, you can't please them all, but I'm going to try and please some of you today. But where is he? Hi, Nako. Hi, Nako. Where? 
Those scooters today, did they stop them because of the rain or? Yeah. Why, why is the scooters for? Scooter, scooters yeah. in on use here, in use. That two ah. scooter is wrong parking. Oh really? Scooter. Over there? Yes, yeah, sir. They stopped them over there? Yes, sir. It's uh -huh. uh, instead here parking. Yeah, yeah, they stopped them over there. Yes, sir. How did they do that? You're not, you can't, unless it ran out of battery. Maybe sir. it ran out of battery and then had to stop. Uh, I don't know. No, sir. I see him, yeah, 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 I see him over there. Yes, sir. Should I go try? Uh, sure. you try sir. Maybe I can try, yeah, 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 thank you. Wait, we'll try and get this green man. Oh, yeah. We'll run over the piano keyboard crossing. Oh, here they are. Damn. Some drunks must have just parked them here. Let's see if I can use them. Oh my god, it works. They're on full battery. This was on 99%. Woohoo! Thanks to that guy. Working. <laughs> <See you. laughs> Weehoo! All right, there we are. We're gonna go get ourselves a coffee, not from Starbucks, but from a place on the other side of town. But this is what I mean, like, why do I have to go all the way to the other side of town just to get myself a coffee? Um, that's why I love Starbucks. It's like four in Uptown. And also, I love the really strong bit of taste. Wow. Um, the other coffee franchises in Uptown, I think it's Arabica Coffee. And then there's another place like Dot Life, which is like near Jollibee, like right on the outskirts of Uptown or BGC area. But they all do sour coffee. None of them do really nice bitter coffee, which I like. So maybe I just open my own franchise, Chairman Coffee, and serve up really bitter tasting Robusta coffee. Yeah. Oh. I'm not timing these uh, traffic lights correctly. I keep showing up at Red Man. Ugh. You know what? I honestly think they should always keep up the Philippine flags along the street here. It looks so beautiful and nice. I don't think it should only be up for Independence Day. It should be all year round. Oh look, there's one coffee here. Toby's. Which is tucked in this office tower next to BDO. Coffee roasters. This particular place is not a roaster, but again, Toby's is very, very sour. And you know what? The folks that like their sour coffee usually tend to have it with milk. They don't just drink coffee straight. So, sorry. Coffee. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Adios. Kenchana. Kenchana yo. Oh, look how pretty this area is right now. It's blooming. This patch of grass was a bit of a, a sandbox. Because there were so many like university students practicing their dance moves here. But now that there's less people dancing on it and it's raining a lot, the grass has had some opportunity to grow. Look how lush and beautiful it looks. I would not allow people to dance on patches of grass here in BGC. Go do that somewhere else. Don't, don't kill the grass. Another law or city ordinance that the chairman would put into place if he was the mayor. A lot of my policies would make sense. Here we are. Harlan and Holden Coffee, the second branch here in BGC off the high street. But the next dilemma is, where do I park this mover scooter? Where is the nearest designated parking for these scooters? Is it on the high street? Oh, it might be Forbes Circle. Oi, oi, oi. There's no one over there. Yeah, I think it is Forbes Circle. Let's go quickly over there. Ooh, ooh, it's so cool from the mine museum there. Oh. A little busy. Why is there a sandbox here? So the body boom boom boom. Yeah, we're almost there. 
So yeah, can you imagine having to do this every day just to go get a bloody coffee? It's inconvenient, man. It's a waste of time. Oh. Well, I guess on the way back, we won't have any troubles trying to secure a mover scooter. There's plenty here. I guess this is where they're all hiding. Oh, freaking hell. I'm actually craving some UCC coffee. I do like UCC coffee. UCC coffee is bitter. I'm gonna get it from there. And then I'll show you the Hull, Hull and Holden coffee branch, which is like two floors. I won't, I won't get a coffee from there because I don't particularly enjoy their coffee, but I do love UCC coffee. You know what? I've never been at this particular UCC branch here. They've got one downstairs in Mitsukoshi, but it's not really a branch. It's more of like a stall. Hello. Wow. Hi, ma'am. Can I get an iced Americano? Yeah, to go. To go. Do you do plastic or paper cups? It's paper cups. That's paper, okay, that's fine. Um, a large? Ice, Americano large. Yeah, how many shots is that? Three shots. Three shots, okay. Extra ice, no water. Extra ice. No water. No water. Yeah. Let's see how that tastes. Damn, these AC units are pretty loud, though. Oh, is that from Carrier? This is a nice place, folks. I'm quite pleasantly surprised by this UCC coffee. From the outside, it looks so small, the franchise. But it's two floors, and it's rather spacious. There's a lot of seats. And places to plug your computer and your laptop in, and your phone. Thank you, sir, thank you. All right, wow, the cup is rather large. This is almost, it looks like the equivalent of a um, tall, not tall, a venti. Oh yeah, all ice and just coffee. Oh. But it's free espresso shots for 260 pesos, whereas Starbucks is three shots for 165. And then if you go with a venti, which is four shots, then it works out to about 185? Is it something like that? I can't remember. I never order venti, I just go with the ice Americano grande. Wait, is that biodegradable? I think it is. Oh yeah, they use biodegradable straws. Well, at least the UCC coffee does it, right? Like, you know, paper cup, paper cover, paper straw. Ooh, that's good. Oh, thank you. Oh, the way they say. Thank you in Japanese, it's hilarious. <laughs> Man, I can't see a damn thing because my glasses are all fogged up. Oh, there we are, there we are. Goodness me. All right, let's quickly take you over to Harlan Holden Coffee before it starts raining here in BGC and then we'll go back to Uptown. Trying to film and drink my coffee from UCC at the same time is kind of tricky. I don't think I should be going in here with a UCC coffee, but I'll just show them for video purposes. Okay, so the theme this particular branch is going for here in BBC is kind of like an industrial slash contemporary look. And that's evident from these like whitewashed walls and the exposed piping. And then the contemporariness is from also the curvature of the furniture. You see, there's like no sharp lines or corners. Everything is kind of like very, very curvy. And similar to the other branch, you order off an iPad. Yes, but you can get meals here as well. Look like a sourdough cheese steak. A lot of people like this butterscotch latte, but I've never had it because it's probably too sweet. How are you, ma'am? And then you pay by card here or here. For this terminal, it's there. And it will take you up to the second floor. Oh, you're allowed dogs here, hello. All right, we'll take you up this very, very steep staircase. There's a lot of steps here. First time here? Thank you for pushing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here like two or three times, but you like it. it's all the way on the other side of BGC, so I don't think a lot of people know about it. Yeah, I know, it's nice and quiet. Do you know if there's a bathroom over there? Uh, I don't know. I saw a door over there. Okay, okay. Try it over there, okay? Oh. Or maybe just ask the staff. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Let's see. And then the upstairs features a very similar design to downstairs, but what's cool is you can overlook this little crossing here. And I love how big the glass panels are, almost floor to ceiling windows running in lots of natural light and giving you a nice view 
over the street. But what I don't like at, the, at this moment in time is how loud this music is. It's making me really worry about copyright music. I really don't like it when coffee shops play really loud music like that. I don't know what the point is. It should be almost inaudible. It should really be really, really faint. But, I don't know. Alrighty, folks. I think I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video of me doing a few chores and showing you around a few coffee franchises, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and share it with friends and family, and I'll see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.